So I wanted my witch to have hair. And we all know that Miss Kennedy has no hair. So we're going to make her some hair. Um, what I did was I went out and bought just a um, headband from the local craft store. This is one that's got the foam attached to it. Um, I've got some apple green yarn and you'll need your scissors and a glue gun. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple braid. We want two braids coming down the side and we're going to give her some bangs. So she looks like a, a little witchy. So let's go ahead and get started. For the bang pieces, I've just lined up a whole bunch of yarn strips and I got a piece of 3 8 inch green ribbon. This is not going to be seen by the way. And all I'm doing is I'm layering a strip right on top of these yarn pieces. And I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do the bangs, but uh, mommy's brain is not functioning properly today. And then all you want to do is you want to go above the ribbon strip and trim it. And as you can see, here are a couple of bang pieces that I have completed and you can just line them up and cut them um, until they're all uniform in size. Not sure how many I'm going to use right now, but all you're going to do, I'm going to line this with some ribbon first, green ribbon, and then you're just going to glue them right on top and the little bangs are going to hang down. And these ribbon strips are not going to be seen when we add the, uh, the braids on top. But that's just where they're going to hang down. And then you can trim them up however you see fit. And as you can see, I went ahead and lined the headband in the 7 8 inch uh, apple green ribbon. We're not going to see this, but um, I just wanted to make sure all the white was covered. You hear Kennedy? <laughs> She's playing in my ribbon. Here are my green bangs. I just trimmed them up just a little bit. You can add more if you want more bangs, even over here to the, the sides. I just wanted them right in the, the center. And I still might uh, trim them up after I get my braid piece on. But now we're ready to um, go ahead and do the little witchy braids on both sides. See what Kennedy is doing while I am busy with a tutorial? What do you have? She has a zipper down there, a flip-flop that we didn't even work with, my shabby flowers that I cut, ribbon. What do you have to say for yourself, little girl? Kennedy? Kennedy! Tell her bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Blow kisses. Silly. She's destroying my shabby flowers. I'm not even going to show y'all all the shabbies that I've got because, um, then, well, you would know what kind of a craft hoarder I was. <gasps> oh my goodness. Kennedy, you're making a mess. Okay, and now you just need to determine how long your braid is going to be on both sides. And I'm going to just cut, um, a bunch of one yard yarn pieces. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to go, but if I go too long, I can always trim them on the ends. So go ahead and get together a whole bunch of uh, one yard yarn pieces. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, get it out. And um, then we'll put them together and make one long braid. And now that I've got all of my yarn, my one long yarn strand, I'm going to take one of the ends and if you've got a little rubber band, go ahead and wrap it around one of your ends. Just so we have something to hold on to when we start our braid. But if you don't have a rubber band, um, wrap it with another piece of yarn or a piece of ribbon or something just so it's secure. Okay, now is the time you might want to enlist in an extra set of helping hands because you're going to need someone to hold this while you do your braiding. Or if you can tie it onto a doorknob or something, you'll just need some way to secure that so you can go ahead and braid the whole strand. We're going to do one braid. So go ahead and do your braid. I'm going to have to turn this off because I don't have an extra set of hands in here beside Kennedy and, well, 
yeah. So I'm going to have to um, come up with a clever way to get mine braided. But go ahead and do your braid. <laughs> hey, Kennedy. You want to help Mommy braid? Okay, and without the help of Miss Kennedy, I have completed my one long braid. Both ends have been secured with little rubber bands. And we are ready to glue this on to our headpiece. And you, to glue it, you just want to find the middle, add your glue, and then put it right there on top and let your little braids hang down. And then we'll trim it up and give her some bows. Okay guys, and now you have your witch hair complete. And now I think I'm gonna add a couple of Halloween cute little bows down here on the ends and then we can clip our witch hat. But that is very simple and an extra addition to your witch Halloween wear.